one of the most common failures on any manual antenna tuner is blowing the diodes that are used for the SWR meter. That can either happen from static electricity on the antenna, the wind improperly grounded, whatever. It can also happen if you throw the rotary switch on the inductor while actually transmitting. Uh, those switch contacts make very high voltage spikes that destroy the little detector diodes quite easily. It's pretty easy to fix. On this particular model, you can see the diodes are on a circuit board right here. And I drew with pencil the schematic symbols next to them to make sure that the polarity could never be accidentally reversed when replacing them. And although as an electronics technician, the first impulse is to pull this circuit board out of the unit and get to the foil side of the, the foil side of the board and change those diodes properly. But I'm retired, my hands are shaking, my eyes are bad, so I did what we call a fast eddy in the service business. I clipped off the old diodes very close to the components so the leads were left in the circuit board. You then scrape those leads nice and clean so they'll take solder, and you tack solder the new diodes onto the old diodes leads from up top. See if I can get a better shot of this. It's pretty blurry. There we go. Anyhow, that's a quick and dirty fix, and uh, you just change both at the same time because you want them to be a matched pair. And that's it. It's the only really active device or semiconductor in the whole unit. Uh, air capacitors and coils don't really fail, per se, unless they're physically damaged. But uh, anyhow, that should do it. It should... Uh, get you back in business. It's a very common failure uh, that I've seen many, many times. Saved a lot of people from buying a new ATU unit.